This is my 2004 Kawasaki Vulcan 750. It's got 25,000 miles on it, and I'm going to be replacing the automatic cam chain tensioners, the ACCTs, today in this video. This is what the piece looks like, the MCCT. I got these from TOC Manufacturing. Um, you can also find them on eBay. Um, how it works is that you install one on each cylinder. So we got one for the front, one for the rear. They're interchangeable. They're both the same. Um, tighten it down using the same bolts that came with your ACCT. And then you tighten down this main nut until you feel some resistance. When you do, you get the wrench and you tighten it one uh, half turn, all right? Just a half turn. From there, the rest is engine tuning. So you turn on the engine and then you basically adjust this main nut to get the appropriate tightness. If this main nut is too loose, you'll hear your clanking sound, the clanking sound that we're trying to get rid of by upgrading and, and changing out the old cam chain tensioner. So if it's too loose, you'll hear the clanking sound, tighten it more. If it's too tight, you'll hear like a, a, a whirring sound and it could also slow down the speed of the engine, the speed of that cylinder. So if it's too tight and you get the whirring, you just loosen it up. I'm going to replace the cam chain tensioner on the rear cylinder first because that's the one for me that is making more of the clanking sound. So I'm gonna replace it first and then do the tuning, then I'll do the front cylinder. Um, if you're starting with the rear cylinder on the Vulcan 750, you're gonna to wanna to take off the coolant reservoir tank. And you do so with one bolt, 10 mil. I left the coolant tank hanging down here out of, out of view. Um, I didn't even bother taking off the two black hoses. I think you can just set it aside and you got plenty of space. To, um, so here it is, the rear cam chain tensioner held on by two 10 mil bolts, one here and then one right on the other side. This one, obviously very easy to get to. I think for the other one, I'll go around the other side and, and try to get some clearance. Set aside this brake line bracket. And then as you can see, the uh, cam chain tensioner just comes right on out. That's what it looks like. And out with the old, in with the new. Even though I said it like a second ago, I forgot to put on this bracket for the brake line. So let me go ahead and put that on. I did put a little bit of blue Loctite on each of these two um, studs to help the bolts stay on and not back out or anything from the vibration. Um, so next, with the cam chain tensioner on, tightened securely, um, we're going to tighten this main nut by hand. So just do it up until you feel resistance. The resistance means that um, the end of the tensioner is um, hitting up against the chain. So I think I got it right there. Okay, I can't move it anymore with my hand. From there, take your 17 mil wrench and we're gonna tighten it half a turn. All right, so I'm gonna look at the tip of the bolt here so I know where my half turn is going to be. Half turn tight. And there we are. And the next, probably like one of the harder parts here, I was trying to figure out how to do this, is tightening this locking nut right here. So that way the main nut doesn't back out at all. So get it tight there by hand. And I couldn't get any of my wrenches in there. Um, I think I'm gonna try using this, like uh, some, some cheap, uh, what is it called, vice grips. And like it, 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 it gets you just enough clearance over this nut that you can grab the bigger nut. Um, so just tighten that down. There we go. And we are good for the rear cylinder. Now I'm gonna start the engine and show you how the tuning process works. It was harder than I thought to get the tuning process done on video. I couldn't really capture the audio well. So instead I just took a couple of notes. Um, basically, for my bike, for, for the age of the cam and the 25,000 miles, whatever, um, once I got the main nut to hand tight, and then I tightened it with the 17 mil wrench another half turn, that was perfect. I got rid of the slight clanking sound that I did have before with the old ACCT, the old cam tensioner, 
and I didn't hear any whirring. I tried adjusting it, you know, like loosening it to try to get it to um, clank, and I tried tightening it to try to hear the whir, but I really couldn't get that. I, I, I couldn't hear anything. I, I heard some slight clanking, but again, it didn't come out good on audio. So um, basically, it matches up with what is stated on the TOC website, which is where I got my cam chain, cam chain tensioners, um, TOC manufacturing. They said that um, the extremes are pretty obvious. So, so long as you're just paying attention and um, you know, you're staying away from those extremes, I think it's pretty straightforward to tune. So now, let's do the front cylinder. Here is the location of the front cylinder cam chain tensioner. I'm going to use my 10 mil wrench for this front bolt, and then this other bolt back here that you can't see, I'm going to use this little deep socket boy, 10 mil. Um, one additional consideration is this chrome oil line shares a bracket that is attached to the cam chain tensioner base over here. So when you loosen this thing and get it out of the way, just take note of that bracket. You don't want to damage this oil line. All right, I wanted to talk a little bit more about this bracket and how you can get it off. This bracket that's attached to your oil line here, the bracket also goes on the same stud as your cam tensioner, the cam chain tensioner. Start by getting a flathead screwdriver in there and gently wiggle it up, try to get enough clearance room. And then once you do that, you could pry it open, pry it, pry it up rather with the screwdriver. All right, once you do that, you get enough clearance and you can take off your front cylinder cam chain tensioner. Out with the old and in with the new. Uh, one thing to note is that these new cam chain tensioners come with this O-ring here, this black O-ring, and it's very easy for it to fall on out. I've done that a couple of times and I've had to triple check myself to make sure it goes on and it stays on. All right, so before I put that on, I'm just gonna clean up the studs here. There's a little bit of rust and I don't know, oxidation. I'm just gonna clean that up and then uh, I'm gonna put on the cam chain tensioner. All right, so once again, this oil bracket gave me some troubles getting back on. Couldn't quite catch it in a one -er in the time lapse. What I did is um, took some pliers and then I was able to basically grab onto like the very end of this oil line bracket there, right there, and I was able to pull. I was able to pull it towards the camera and onto the stud. Once it's on the stud, it's just as simple as um, putting some Loctite. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna put Loctite inside the, the nut because it's, it's hard to get the little tube of Loctite in that location. Uh, once we get there, it's as simple as just putting the nut back on and then tightening it down, um, 10 mil. So I know I showed a 10 mil wrench in the previous clip, but it's actually easier to get in there with a 10 mil deep socket, one of these smaller deep socket wrenches. I figured I'd show that. And then once that is tightened up, once this one is all tightened up, you do the same thing as the rear cylinder. The main nut here on your tensioner You'll screw it in until you get some resistance. Once you can no longer tighten it by hand, because again, there is Teflon tape on the thread, so it gets a little bit harder when it gets to the Teflon tape, but then once it touches against the, um, the cam chain and, and the guides in there, you can't do it anymore by hand. You get your um, 17 mil wrench, Let's see, righty tighty, I'm gonna go up. You get your 17 mil wrench and you're gonna tighten it half a turn. And there we go. Once you get the main nut tightened half a turn, uh, don't forget about this locking nut. It's really hard to get in there. You don't really have space for a traditional wrench. So um, what I managed to do is get some uh, pliers in there and get a good solid grip on it and just make sure it's nice, good and tight. Um, if you have a better suggestion for how to get a tool that has the clearance to tighten this nut, if you got a better suggestion, leave it down in the comments.
tried to get, again, the tuning process for the front cylinder on camera, and I just couldn't get the audio. I couldn't get the clanking or the whirring. So what I'll do is link down in the description what my bike sounded like before, and it was like a light, very faint mechanical sound. Um, and I'll also link another video that I found, a different owner who's also got the same bike, Vulcan 750, and his clanks a ton, way, way much worse than mine. So that way you can get some sort of um, idea as to what it sounds like when you need to replace the cam chain tensioners. Also leave questions down in the comments, I can help you out. I've owned this bike for two years and um, I've put 10,000 miles on it already. Oil changes, brakes, um, all the routine maintenance I've done myself. So if you've got questions about this or any other job on the Vulcan 750, leave it down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.